Welcome back, super friends and super family. I'm Nick, and today I'm reacting to Little Women. So last week, I checked out Barbie. Had a great time with that movie. That was my first Greta Gerwig movie, and I really was intrigued by her directing style. And I'm curious to see how she's going to handle the source material, Little Women. I know Little Women is a pretty famous book. I never read the book. I heard a few spoilers in that episode of Friends where Joey is reading Little Women, so I believe a character named Beth dies. And I think the general premise, uh, like I think I said during that Friends reaction. What I know of Little Women is I think it's about a group of young sisters, kind of like the Jane Austen ish times and the kind of going through following their story and their struggles surviving as a woman during that time period but really don't know many of the details i know that timothy chalamet is in this movie and there's another actress who i feel like i should know of oh, florence Pugh, i think she's in this one as well it could be wrong uh, but i'm just excited to see this i heard good things about this movie i'm not familiar with the details of the story and i'm excited to see another Greta Gerwig movie. As always, if you want to watch the full unedited reaction that is up on Patreon, thank you so much to everyone who supports there. Let's just get right into it. Little Women. Hmm. Interesting quote. I mean, fiction can be a good way to cope with the hardship of life. Oh, where do I know this actress from? I think I recognize her. I was looking for the weekly volcano office. I wish to see Mr. Dashwood. Look at him leaning back, smoking the cigar, reading a newspaper, working hard. She has sold to Olympic and prize for a tale at the Blarney Stone Banner. A prize? Sit. Take your feet off the desk. This guy seems pompous. Maybe I'm judging him too quickly, but... Are those marks from her writing? Is that pencil? Is he gonna channel J.K. Simmons? Crap, crap, mega crap. <laughs> Was he speed reading this? Did he just cross out the whole page? What are you doing? We'll take this. Oh, really? People want to be amused, not preached at. Morals don't sell nowadays. That might be true in Hollywood. Compensation, what, how do you... We pay 25 30 for things of this sort. We'll pay 20 for that. The low end, really? You can have it. Make the edits. I mean, she must need the money, right? Tell her to make it short and spicy. And if the main character is a girl, make sure she's married by the end. Oh, really? Really? What a lame requirement. What name would she like put to the story? What's your pen name? Uh, yes. N none at all, if you please. Really? Good morning, sir. Good day. Well, at least she got it published, right? <laughs> Yeah, she seems excited. I mean, I'd be extremely surprised if she actually has a friend and it wasn't her own writing, right? No way. This is a nice place. Heck, look at that fireplace. Good afternoon, Miss March. Oh, good afternoon. Is she writing her next story already? You're on fire. Thank you. Literally? Is she burning? <laughs> come on, come on, don't You're just on stand fire. there. <laughs> Holy. I'm getting set on fire? You do. Interesting. Always working. Money is the end and aim of my mercenary existence. Oh, dang. Well, my sister Amy's in Paris, and until she marries, it's up to me to keep the family afloat. It's a lot of pressure. I like someone who works a lot, though. I respect that. Florence Pugh, who is she gonna play? I mean, one of the sisters, I'm assuming. How come they're both drawing, painting the same thing? Amy, I said these French women couldn't. Is that Meryl Streep? Oh my gosh, I didn't know she was in this movie. Oh. Holy. You shouldn't go home until you and Fred Vaughn are properly engaged. She's wealthy, hopefully. Oh, it's Timothy Chalamet. <laughs> I was like, what is she looking at? Oh, they know each other. Okay. I thought it was just her reaction because it's Timothy Chalamet, you know? Where's your grandfather? He's in Germany. I'm traveling on my own now. Learning Relaxing. And yes. Well, and don't. <laughs> what an existence. Come on. Oh, are you looking okay. <laughs> I will. I'll wear my best silk. She doesn't approve. Is he not wealthy enough? I know. He's cool. Will they be a good couple? I can't tell. I'm guessing he's just not wealthy enough. Oh my gosh, Emma Watson? $50, what was I thinking? How much is $50 back then? She looks so sad. Oh, this is Beth, the one who's sick they're talking about, right? Who I think dies. I mean, he definitely likes her. 
surprised he's not trying to talk to her. Excuse me. I only speak English. I'm sorry. <laughs> me traveling all the time. Reminds me of like the party on the lower decks in Titanic a little, you know. I know exactly who I want to dance with. Seven years, holy, holy. My nose will simply not look refined. <laughs> you need a refined nose. I don't want to go, but I wish I could hear all the music. I'll keep it all in my head and try to sing it for you. <laughs> I'll take this off and you'll see a perfect ringlet. Oh, is this the early? Oh, dang, oh, dang. <laughs> the early days of ironing. You shouldn't have asked me to do it. Don't say Christopher Columbus, don't say Kath at all. Right. Why not? Is this where she met her husband? Miss March, isn't it? Yes, Mr. Lawrence, but I'm not Miss March, I'm only Joe. Oh, okay, so she turned him down, right? We already know that happened. Don't you dance? I like Mr. Darcy, I don't. You see, I've spent most of my life in Europe. Europe! Oh, that's capital! Shouldn't use words like that. Like capital? I kinda like it. Volunteered for the Union Army, and I wanted to go fight with him. I can't get over my disappointment in being a girl. <laughs> Joe, would you like to dance with me? I can't because... Because of what? You won't tell. Never. Why can't she dance? You can laugh if you want to, it's funny, I know. I have an idea of how we can manage. How? Okay, dance in the private room. Why not? They seem to be getting along though, I wonder why she turned him down. It's so interesting showing the order of events in this way too, like knowing that it's doomed from the start. It looks like they're having more fun than in the party. My foot. What happened? Oh my gosh, what's her day? Wow, this star studded cast in this movie. So then back to me. He's a wounded soldier. <laughs> Injured in combat. Don't mind the clutter, Mr. Lawrence. We don't. Lori, please. Can I call you Teddy? Why Teddy? I'm Amy. Amy. Although you'll have to fight Joe for the She liked him right away. I have a scone. Yes, thank you. And Lori, how are your ankles? Do you need ice? <laughs> Just call me mother or marmy. She's so cool. This is back in present day, right? And she works so hard her hand hurts. Reminds me of like doing all my homework and stuff. Dang, dang. Is that a gift from Lori? For the writer in the attic. Oh no. I wanted you to have this. It will help you study character and paint it with your pen. Shakespeare is a good teacher. I promise honesty and whatever intelligence I can master. That can be helpful for a writer too, some good feedback. Brad, would you like a glass? I will. Thank you. Come on, the two of them are destined to dance together. Excuse me. She's like, I need to see how much my friend has been drinking. <laughs> Holy! <laughs> He's like, uh, Christian Bale is Bruce Wayne over here. I waited an hour for you. I feel caught. Yeah. Hmm. She's hurt, too. Amy, please. Do you want to know what I honestly think of you? What do you want to see? Not right now. Oh, it'll be good for you. Aren't you ashamed of a hand like that? No, I'm not. Looks like it's never done a day of work in its life, and that ring is ridiculous. Dang, dang, might be true. Perhaps you're fantasizing about spending Fred Vaughn's fortune. Fred Vaughn, ladies and gentlemen! He's had way, way too much to drink. Dang, so quiet. Fred, I'm so sorry. It's tough. I feel like Amy can tell that Lori can be a better person, but maybe because he got rejected by Joe, he's kind of in a downward spiral. Those are just stories, of course, but I'm working on a novel. Okay. Your novel will be like this? So far, anyway. With plots like this. Are they good? It sells, so. Why don't you sign your real name? Oh, my mother wouldn't like it. How come? Won't she be proud? It's too gory for her. Ah, uh, okay. Help with the money I make and not worry her. <laughs> Are they good? The suspense. Anyway, I, I, I don't like them. Oh, dang, really? I thought he would. I, I mean, I, I, I think that they're not good. Dang. They're published in the, in the papers. People have always said that I'm talented. Oh, I think you're talented. But what? Which is why I'm being so, so blunt. Maybe he knows she can do better. The star won't praise. Yeah, are you upset? Of course. Of course I'm upset. Yeah. yeah. I thought you wanted honesty. Yes, I do. But it's still tough to hear that type of criticism. Who made you high priest of what's good and what's bad, huh? No one, and I'm not. Well, then why are you acting like it? He's trying to help you, though. This hurts, but he is trying to help. Indicates that you are a pompous blowhard. <laughs> 
Shakespeare wrote for the man. She map. smuggled his poetry in popular words. Well, no Shakespeare. Thank goodness we already have him. Mm -hmm. Why don't you just do it yourself? Because I'm not a writer. I don't have the gifts you have. No, you don't. But some people are better as coaches. Forget that you ever even lived. Oh. Dang, that's harsh. I, but I, no one will forget Joe March. She wants to leave him more. I can believe it. I like that attitude. We are not friends. You are not my friend. Really? I don't like you very much, so just don't talk to me anymore. Thank you. I get that she's hurt because it always sucks. Like, getting your work criticized is very personal, but I actually think she would do better by getting his feedback and improve her talent, sharpen it. <sighs> Merry Christmas, world. <laughs> Merry Christmas! Christmas is the best time of year. Oh, I got carried away with our delicious revenge play last night. Poison. Ooh, revenge plays. Classic. Got father, and we won't have him for as long as this war drags on. I wish I had heaps of money and plenty. <laughs> Don't we all? <laughs> My favorite one is to be an artist in Paris and to do fine pictures and to be the best painter in the world. Well, the flash forward shows she's kind of halfway there. What about your music, Queen Bess? I only do that for us. I don't need anyone else to hear. She's like Phoebe. We can make our little sacrifices and do it gladly. Don't play mother. <laughs> it's so heartwarming seeing how close they are, you know. You like this, dude? Of course we care what you think, You're Hannah. Hmm. See how you can write such splendid things, Joe. You're a regular Shakespeare. She's on her way. Colangelo, can you please rehearse the fainting scene? You're as stiff as a poker. <laughs> if Hugo comes at me with a pistol. Hannah. I'm not acting. <laughs> oh, come on. Small role. Cameo. What happened? Joe, oh, you look tired. Were you up again all night riding? Yes. What? What is it? Bad news. Mrs. Hummel, her five children are in one bed to keep from freezing. Dang. My girls, will you give them your breakfast as a Christmas present? They're not happy about it. I mean, can you imagine? Imagine it. Easier said than done. You just give up your breakfast to help someone. But what a good gesture from the mom. That's so generous. I mean, how many people would do this, right? How many of us with just our comforts every day really would give that up for someone else? Keep Mr. Lawrence, for including me. You're welcome. Oh, I swear I know that actor too. Not Why don't you untie the boot? I mean, what this must mean for this poor family, you know. <laughs> That's a real test, too. Like, it's easy to be charitable and generous when you yourself have a lot, but if you don't, that's the true test of your commitment to others. Wait, where did all this come from? Sold out March. Mr. Lawrence sent it. Lawrence Boy's grandfather? Wow, okay. But I thought he was a mean old man. That's so generous of him. His grandson, Laurie, put the idea into his head. I that's cool. His daughter died? That's so sad. But doesn't Laurie just seem so romantic? He's half a town. <laughs> but remind them that while we wait, we may all work, so these hard days need not be wasted. What a great shot of all the sisters like laying, like leaning on each other, holding the mom. It says so much. I may be fonder and prouder than ever. I swear I hope the dad doesn't die. Excuse me. You stopped me. Oh, thank you. She's gone? She's so busy, she hasn't had a good night's sleep in how long? And what about the girls? She was the best teacher they ever had. I know. He's like, dang, I criticized her too harshly. I wish it was Christmas every day. Or New Year's. Wouldn't that be exciting? <laughs> that would be exciting. Can you imagine? All the girls are trading pickled limes and I'm in debt. I owe ever so many limes. <laughs> it's like trading in prison. Oh, thank you. I know what it is to want. She had extra limes on her? No way. Or is that money? Okay. Is there a reason you stopped reading Belsham? You fell asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that a good reason? You mind yourself, dearie. Someday you'll need me, and you'll wish you had behaved better. What's she doing wrong? I intend to make my own way in the world. No, no one makes their own way. What do you mean? There are a precious few ways for women to make money. That's not true. Practically the same thing. Yeah, acting was a really looked down on profession back then, right? You can live a better life than your poor mother had. But Marmy loves her life. You don't know what she I'm sure she's given up a ton. Yes, but he was right. Well, it's possible to be right and foolish. Hmm. I think so. Well, you're not paid to think. You're paid to read. That's just an interesting conversation, though, because I feel like the aunt is honestly trying to give good advice. How would you like to be the person I take? I'd like that more than anything. Yeah, I'd take that job. And don't sneak around. I don't like sneaks. No sneaking. Smeagol doesn't like it either. Sorry. Oh, I bet your dad can give you five more limes besides. 
Five limes? What does she have to do? Draw him? Like a funny sketch? <laughs> don't get caught, don't get caught! Come on! Someone warn her! Oh gosh, here we go. It's happening. It's March. Busted. Sit down. Sit down, Lori. Latin is a privilege. <laughs> <laughs> Latin is also boring. <laughs> There's a girl out there. No, there is not. Yes. Mr. Brooke, there is a girl. No, there is not. Girl or Latin, which will hold your attention? Hmm, let's take a bet. Oh. What's wrong? I would have never have sprained my ankle. I have lovely small feet. The best in the fam. <laughs> I'm in such trouble. Look. What happened? Mr. Davis hit me. Seriously? Teachers did that? I mean, I've heard that, actually. He looks stern, but my grandfather was much more handsome. Joe, we do not compare grandfathers. <laughs> it's bad manners. Oh, uh, no, actually. You... <laughs> I knew your mother's father. You've got his spirit. Oh. That's a compliment, because she is a strong spirit. You are not to attend that school anymore. Good, that man has always been an idiot. True. Women being taught at home is much more proper, I believe. Only because the schools for women are so poor. Quite right. Where do I know him from? Is he from the War and Peace miniseries? My girls have a way of getting into mischief. Mm, well, so do I. <laughs> Tell the little girl to use our piano, and Joe, borrow whatever book you'd like. That's so generous. It's also a lovely greenhouse. We must go. Oh, girls. dang. I'm going to <laughs> Why did no one get excited about the greenhouse? <laughs> Oh, uh, Miss Meg, you got your glove. What? Back to work. Back to work. Did he disapprove of all that? Is that their mailbox in the tree? That's so legit if it is. Uh, in the course of the next few weeks, that will surpass anything ever seen before on the American mm. stage. Oh, I'm dying to see it. We can report Meg good, Joe bad. <laughs> Amy sort of mid -me. Very well done. <laughs> Who would be deeply, deeply grateful and would add a mince to the spirit of the club. Who? Oh, who's the new member? Mr. Theodore Lawrence. Was he there? No. Oh, what? Let's no. have him. He's a real boy. We don't want any boy. Oh, come on. For lady. Yeah. <laughs> no boys allowed. All right, I call the vote. No, Put your hands up. I, 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 I vote to let Laurie in. Fine, I. And as there is no time like present. <laughs> oh, dang, dang. <laughs> That's a reveal. It's like a talk show moment. <laughs> he fits in well. Come on. He's having a good time. Thank you for your favor. I will take my seat as one of the girls. You're one of the girls. Okay, so that is something they stashed away. Hello. <laughs> Go on, is this not family goals? Where is Beth? She's upstairs. We all thought she was better, but the fever had weakened her heart. Dang. You need this money to live in New York. No, I'm not going back. I'm using the rest to take her to the sea and get her strong. What a sacrifice. When's Amy coming home? We didn't want to worry her. We not tell her because she didn't want to ruin Amy's trip. I think she deserves to know. You can't go, Amy, so don't be a baby and whine about it. Oh, I've been shut up here and I never get to go any <laughs> I can teach you chords. I don't want chords. He's like, I want to go with Lori. You will not come. Please. Girl, you'll be sorry for this Joe Martin. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's in love. And him too. Him too. <laughs> Did they end up getting married though? Because we see this. They have kids. She has kids. What are you doing now? What is she up to? She seems too angry. You need to calm down before you do anything rash. Ow, Joe! <laughs> she's like, no, you're not taking my head. Wait, she's burning their father's letters? Oh, don't do this. You're gonna regret doing this. I know you're upset, but... Has anyone taken my novel? Oh, that's what she burned? The writing of her novel? Why would you do that? That's such a big deal. That is such a big deal. Amy, you've got it. No, I haven't. That's a lie. No, it isn't. She destroyed it. I burnt your book. I told you I'd make you pay, and I did! That's so, so crossing a line. Can you imagine doing that to someone? But that is, do you know how much goes into someone's writing for you to do that to her? 
All she does is go to the theater without you. I can't believe Amy would do that. It's just that the only thing you care about is your writing. Yes, that's why it makes it even more important. Ruining one of your dresses, and I really did want to hurt you. I am the most sorry for it now. I'm so That doesn't cover it. I can't believe she did that. Don't let the sun go down on your anger. Forgive her. Help each other. Uh, <laughs> come on. She burned her novel. That is... Oh, wow. She doesn't deserve my forgiveness. True. I agree with that. I don't blame you at all, Joe. I, I don't know about anyone else watching. I am so on Joe's side right now. You promised me I could come last time. Joe! Yeah, things have changed. Things have changed and you burned someone's writings. Is she going to be like this forever? For a while, you owe her big time. Go after her. Don't say anything until Joe has got good-natured with Lori. And then just say some kind thing. I don't know. I would wait later. I would wait. I wouldn't sabotage the date. No! Stay near the edge. It's not safe in the middle. Got it. No! Don't fall in. No! Oh, don't fall in. She's not going to fall in, is she? Stay near the edge. Joe, wait! This is how mistakes can have a ripple effect in your life. Don't fall through the ice. Careful. Are you all right? Oh, gosh. Joe, get a branch. Get a branch. That's smart. That's smart. You don't want to get pulled in, too. Amy, grab the branch! Grab it, Amy. Hopefully it doesn't crack more of the ice. Okay, good. Now get off and get her back. Get her warmed up. She's asleep. If she had died, it would have been my fault. No, no. Written sad notes and cried over my sins, but doesn't seem to help. I mean, you're not perfect, but... So savage. I could hurt anyone, and I'd enjoy it. We're all human. You remind me of myself. But you're never angry. I'm angry nearly every day of my life. <laughs> That's like Bruce Banner. I'm always angry. Same. But with nearly 40 years of effort, I'm learning to not let it get the better of me. Hmm. And it's always a work in progress. You're never done. I like how she said learning. I hope you'll do a great deal better than me. Spoken like a good mom. There are some nature too noble to curb and too lofty to bend. But you can tell how good of a person Joe is too, because obviously she's so upset at Amy for what she did. But the second anything actually serious happened, she's rushing to save her. So good to see your face. We're going to the sea to get you strong and well. I want you dancing by the time Amy gets back. Hmm. What does she say? She writes that Lori is there. I'm glad he's with her. That was an interesting look from Beth when she mentioned Lori. Do you miss him? I miss everything. I know. It is one of the things. It's just part of life. It's so relatable when you grow up and you leave your family and your siblings and you go off your separate paths. Things are never the same. I can shake you enjoy it. I... Is that the ring that he was talking about? I don't know how to repay you. No, although there is one thing. What? You're the musical girl. I love it dearly. I'll come if you are quite sure nobody will hear me and be disturbed. Not a soul, my dear. That's cool. Hey, enjoy the ball. Hey, I'll be back soon. Don't go and get married, Meg. <laughs> We should be concerned, right? He's not some weirdo guy, the older guy. Can you send home for another? I haven't got another. Only the one? Oh, that's so funny. Not at all. Don't be judgmental just because you cover a wealthy family. Don't even give me that. I hope something doesn't happen with Beth. I can't keep your dress. You have to. Please. No. I love you. <laughs> Look who it is. Meg is a perfectly good name. Just like playing a part to be Daisy for a little while. Why does she seem so nervous to see him? Do you like how I look? No, I don't. Dang. I don't like fuss and feathers. You were the rudest boy I ever saw. That is rude, but I think it's coming from the heart. Like he's thinking she's not being true to herself. What are we gonna see? Is he gonna come in while she's by herself or something? Stay away, old man. My alarm bells are definitely going off. Tell exactly what that look on his face was. He looked sad almost. Please forgive me and come dance. Okay, at least he apologizes. I don't like your dress, but I think you were just splendid. Really? Really. Yeah, he does. Please don't tell Joe. Let me have my fun tonight. Desperately good for the rest of my life. <laughs> just one night. I'm sorry, John. The silk was the first 
real expense. Okay, so they did end up getting married, right? Fifty dollars. Too much for a dress. It's not exactly even a dress yet. It's, it's just the fabric. Oh, dang. Oh. I see. I'm sure he'd love to get her a dress, but they're probably so short on money. I can't afford it, my dear. John. I need to go to bed. John. It's hard. They're such good people working so hard, but... Sorry that you've had to do without so many beautiful things and that you're married to someone who can't give them to you. I would hate that, like being married to someone and knowing that I can't provide for them the way they want to be provided for. Hello, Amy. I don't want to see you. Amy, don't be mad. <laughs> You've been drinking again? Why are you being so hard on me? It's 4 p.m. Well, someone yes, has thought... to do it. I think she's being so hard on him, too, because she really likes him. She knows he can do better. Never. Never. What? Why? I'm a failure. Don't say that. I'm a failure. That's quite a statement to make it 20. Yeah. I realize I'd never be a genius, so I'm giving up all my foolish artistic hopes. Don't say that. It's too early to do that. Cutting down the competition? <laughs> That's a very complicated argument to make me feel better. <laughs> Is he posing? <laughs> of course, be of me. All right. That's cool. He's cheering her up like this. What are you going to do with your life? Polish up all my other talents and become an ornament to society. Don't say that. Don't settle for that. Don't make fun. I said his name. You're not engaged, I hope. No. Not yet. But you will be if he goes down properly on one knee? Most likely, yes. Hmm. I would marry Rich. Why should I be ashamed of that? It's nothing to be ashamed of as long as you love him. She doesn't. Power over who we love. It isn't something that just happens to a person. There's some truth to that. I'm not a poet. I'm just a woman. She's like, I'm a realist. Not enough to earn a living or to support my family. And if I had my own money, which I don't, that money would belong to my husband. And if we had children, they would be his, not mine. They would be his property. So don't sit there and tell me that marriage isn't an economic proposition because it is. It may not be for you, but it most certainly is for me. Yeah, especially back then. How do I look? Do I look all right? You look beautiful. I wonder if she would marry him if he proposed to her. I really have no idea how this movie is going to wrap up or end or where exactly it's going. It just feels like we're just seeing into these people's lives. Let's go fly a kite. Mary Poppins, anyone? I mean, they do seem so happy together, you know. I'd like to see anyone try it. I would like to see someone try it. <laughs> I don't have any new story. Why not? Writer's block? I haven't written any. I don't think I can anymore. At all? No one even cares to hear my stories anyway. That's not true. You are a writer. And before anyone knew or paid you, I'm very sick and you must do what I say. <laughs> Good card to play. Do what Marmy taught us to do. Do it for someone else. That's a good lesson. Do you have sons in the army? Um, I had four. Two were killed and one is a prisoner. Dang. I was very sick in a Washington hospital. That's four. You've done a great deal for your country. Yes. Up. Get you a blanket. Keep you warm. And gives her own scarf up. Mrs. March, telegram from Washington, ma'am. Please tell me it's some good news. I'll look in on the girls every day. Thank you for everything. I've always admired your husband. I pray for a quick recovery. Oh, dang, okay. Will this be enough for the train? $25. Is that from writing? Where'd you get the money? I only sold what was my own. <gasps> Joe! Oh, what? Her hair? Oh, I'm so proud of my daughter. Oh, I just... Yeah, she's a good daughter. Father, it'll be good for my vanity anyway. It could be nice. Hmm. What is it, is it <laughs> Mom? No. What? It's my hair. Oh. You said that a dozen times in the past month. Short answer is save trouble. <laughs> True. Why don't you do it? Natural depravity. <laughs> I'll only plague him if I go, so I might as well stay and plague you a little longer. Much more fun plaguing you. What are you doing? I'm looking at you. I mean, what do you in That's like a last little Mohicans line. I've been writing an opera. I would be the central figure. It's a waste of time. Why? It's very good. When did you do this one? Long ways back. What's he doing? He's in London on business. He'll be back in a few weeks. I can't tell if they're going to have like a romance or it's going to be a uh, like perpetual what if, you know? Don't marry him. What? Don't marry him. Why? Marry me instead. You're being mean. What? Stop it. I Stop mean? it. I have been second to Joe my whole life in everything. And I will not be the person you settle for just because you cannot have her. Uh. I won't, not when I've spent my entire life loving you. I feel like he actually does care for her now, though, right? I don't know. No, my foot is stuck! I can't get it out! <laughs> Dang. <laughs> my, no, my, no. 
fine. I'll go myself. Oh, poor Beth. What? A letter from the old gentleman. Open the note! Oh, Beth, just look! <laughs> no way! No way! Joe, read the letter. I cannot. <laughs> That's so cool. I like to pay my debts and hope you will accept this gift. Your grateful friend and humble servant, James. That's karma for Beth. I mean, I'm hoping this old guy is not a creep, like I said. Hopefully, I'm just being paranoid. What is it? Scarlet fever. I visited the homeless. A baby has died. Oh, gosh. That's how Beth gets sick, by being so nice going to the family. Should we send for mother? Oh, we shouldn't worry her. I don't wish for money more than now. Listen, we'll nurse her, and she'll get better. She will. Goldings and even puppies. It's all about us. It is. I love it. Do you think it's too boring? No, it's my favorite one yet. Really? Write me another. Keep writing them. I will. Even when I'm not here. Don't say that. Don't, Don't say that. To... She means it though. I've had a very long time to think about this and, and I'm not afraid. No. It's like the tide going out. It goes out slowly, but it can't be stopped. I think she's right too. I'll stop it. I stopped it before. You will get better, father will get better, and we'll all be together soon, all right? But we can't stop God's will. Well, God hasn't met my will yet. <laughs> Joe will shall be done. <laughs> That's such a great line from Joe. If you are very good, one day this ring will belong to you. If you keep being a proper young lady, just see if it doesn't. He's promising her inheritance? You are your family's hope now. Beth is sick. Joe is a lost cause. <laughs> Joe's not a lost cause. So you must marry well. Hmm? Save your family. That might be honestly really good advice. What a disappointment he's turned out to be. Must be the Italian in him. What? What do you mean? <laughs> you got something against Italians? What do you need to discuss with him? Dang. Dang. It should be with Lori. He's rich too. I, I just told Fred Vaughn I wouldn't marry. Oh, she... Oh my gosh, text him, text him, text Lori right now. FaceTime, tweet, do something. I ask for leave. I will take care of the children. Oh, John. Thank goodness he's a good man, you know. The dressmaker as soon as possible. I can't. No, I don't want to hear another word. I want you to have that dress. <laughs> John, I really can't. I sold the fabric to Sally. Oh, dang. I couldn't be. John Brooke is my husband and I am his wife. What do we do? We should send for your mother. Mommy, she's worse. I didn't know what else to do. Hannah, make a clear broth and Joe get ice. We need to cool you. Who's with father? John stayed with him. It's like there's too many sick people. Everyone in their family is. I mean, what can you do but pray, you know, under circumstances like this? Please find. Don't go away. Not go gently into that good night. Please just fight to the end and be loud and just quickly go away, Ben. Marmy? Marmy? <laughs> what happened though this first time? You know that she just got better. Merry Christmas, Ben. I'm have to make sure that it's Here's another Christmas gift for the Marsh family. Oh my god! Wait, is that Bob Odenkirk? Oh my gosh, that's the dad, Saul Goodman himself. Merry Christmas to each of you. Merry Christmas, Bob. Merry Christmas. What a reunion. I didn't think the dad was going to make it, honestly, since we hadn't seen him so far. Thank God for you. Now I can be angry with you in person. <laughs> I mean, this is happiness right here. That's not like last time. Did they even tell Amy what happened? Yeah. I can't believe today is my wedding day. Hmm. Joe. We can leave. We can leave right now. What? Let's just 
run away together. I want to get married. Oh, mommy, why? Because I love him. Yeah. We'll be bored of him in two weeks. Don't say that. He's a good man. Just because my dreams are different than yours doesn't mean they're unimportant. That's true. And I'm willing to work and struggle, but I want to do it with John. Yeah, everyone has their own path. There's not one way that's better. I just hate that you're leaving me. Understandable. I'm not leaving you. And besides, one day it will be your turn. He's like, I don't want to get married. I'd rather be a free spinster and paddle my own canoe. <laughs> Would. Yeah, she means that. Now she's like, I'm not joking. I can't believe childhood is over. Huh. It was going to end one way or another. Yeah, it's inevitable. I pronounce you man and wife. <laughs> we kiss the bride. It's so cool their father got to see this happen, too. She's like, I don't dance. I don't dance. She's like a female Mr. Darcy. <laughs> oh, come on. Come on. <laughs> That's hilarious. He asked her. <laughs> she can't even help but smile. I hope you will be happy now that you've ruined your life the same way your mother. Oh, don't say that. Thank you, Aunt March. Oh, I don't like to, to be. Uh... <laughs> it's like when you try to hug Seinfeld. <laughs> quite understand your meaning, Mrs. I don't miss think. We know this. <laughs> You're not entirely wrong. I may not always be right, but I never will. <laughs> There's such a closeness with Lori with all of them, too. Like, it's like, speak the same code. As her companion, with you. Yes, she wants me to work on my art and my French, of course. You don't really like French, though, do you? Okay. That's wonderful, Amy. Oh, this is where was this filmed? Holy, look at this location, man. You don't have to stay here, Joe. Why should we run off and join a pirate ship? He's like, Yes, come with me. No, no, it's no use, Joe. Please Joe, don't. we've got to have it no. out. I have hey. loved you ever since I've known you, Joe. I couldn't help. Oh, dang. I'm so proud of you, and I just I don't see why I can't love you as you want me to. I don't know why. She just doesn't feel it. I can't. I can't change how I feel, and... That's true, right? You can't force something. So I'm not going to say it at all. And you'll see that I'm right eventually, and you'll thank me for it. She might be right. I'm homely, and I'm awkward, and I I'm odd, you, and you'd be ashamed of I me. I love you. He would not. You'd hate my scribbling, and we would be unhappy, and we'd wish we hadn't done it, and everything would be horrid. I don't know. But does she not care for him, or does she just feel like it wouldn't work? I think you'll find someone and love them, and you will live and die for them because that's your way. I don't know, actually. No, watch. I mean, you can tell he's just absolutely heartbroken. I don't want to disturb your writing. Don't do that anymore. Come on, I can't give that up. Your friend, Friedrich, wasn't that his name? Nope. I forgot about that guy. I'm sure I'll never see him again. I doubt that a sincere friend would be deterred. Yeah. I wish that were true. Mm, I wonder if she's thinking about Lori. If I was a girl in a book, this would all be so easy. If only life was like fiction sometimes, right? Perhaps I was too quick in turning him down. Lori, do you love it? Yeah, that's the important question. If he asked me again, I think I would say yes. That's not an answer. I care more to be loved. I want to be loved. So that's a no. It's not the same as loving. Yeah. And they've got ambition and they've got talent as well as just beauty. And yeah, that's true. But I'm, s I'm so lonely. That's so honest, right? Because you can be ambitious and like have those goals, but there still is, you know, everyone does want to be loved too. Like those two things can be true at once. Couldn't let you travel alone with Aunt March being so sick, even if you despise me. She doesn't despise you. Yeah. That was the best of us. I think she was, kind of. So sweet. Or do anything. I just didn't love him as I should. Don't love him the way I love you. No, we don't need to talk about it. We don't need to say anything. I'm honestly happy because I think he does love Amy now, and Joe didn't love Lori like that. I miss you more than I can express. I used to think that the worst fate oh, was to no, be a no, wife. Oh, no, 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 really? Oh, this is the worst timing. But now I have changed. The worst fate. Oh, poor Joe. I was wrong to turn you down and to run away to New York. Oh, gosh, I honestly hope Lori does not read this letter.
Wait, she's dreaming? I'm confused. As we're down at Meg's, we stopped on the way. There was no getting my wife out of their clutches. Your what? That's how she finds out. We were engaged and we were hoping to wait, but that is to say that now, now we are man and wife. You and Amy? Yep. Are you in love? Yes. Yeah, I think he is, right? I've always loved you. You, you were right about this. I think we would have killed each other. Yes. I think it was meant this way. Now I don't know, man. What does Amy call you? My lord. That sounds like her. <laughs> well, you look deserving of it. Can we still be friends, Michelle, please? <laughs> I mean, this is so complicated. You gotta put on a brave face. Amy, I'm so happy for you. I'm so relieved, thank you. I wanted to write Joe, I wanted to. I'm so considerate of Joe, not to show how she really feels. I really miss her. Thank you. The mom knows. Yeah, she's taking that back. I mean, this would have been a totally different outcome if we lived in a different time period, right? Where we have letters, the communication is so limited. Oh, Joe. I couldn't bring myself to, uh... What? Couldn't go in knowing she wouldn't be there. I know I'm not half so good as my sister, but, you know, I'll be a friend to lean on. I'm so glad he turned out to be a decent man, you know what I mean? Like, thank goodness. She's burning all her writing? Do that. Keep that one at least. And she's keeping true to her promise, right? That Beth, that she made to Beth about keeping writing. Way to go, way to go, Joe. Working hard. And writing can be exhausting for anyone, you know, like it is not easy to do. I swear I'd be so worried the candles would like burn some of my writing. Careful. Dear Mr. Dashwood, enclosed are the first few chapters. It could suit as a story for young people, but I think it is probably. She's like looking right into the camera. However, I'm sending it to you just in case it has something of value, though I doubt it. Joe March. Very humble, too. I'd love to do something that would really make Aunt March turn in her grave. <laughs> nice turning, just a rotation, nothing terrible. <laughs> I'd like to open a school. Okay. Now there are women's colleges opening. There should be a school. That's a great idea. What are you working on? Started something, but I don't think it's very good. Just keep at it. Who will be interested in a story of domestic struggles and joys? It doesn't have any real importance. I mean, this is breaking the fourth wall, no? I don't write about them. Well, no, writing doesn't confer importance. It reflects it. I don't know. I think it does both. Writing them will make them more important. Yeah. When did you become so wise? <laughs> I always <laughs> be noticing my faults. <laughs> no notes, no notes. I don't want to have any notes from the editor. I read the chapters you sent, and I have to agree, they aren't very promising. Really? Please, send more stories of the scandalous variety if you have any. Don't listen to him. I say, your friend can't. My apologies for the joke. I couldn't help it. He thinks he's so clever. He thinks he's so clever, I swear. I'm, I'm sorry to intrude. Uh, it's you. <laughs> maybe she'll end up with him. I don't know. Welcome! Welcome! This is Kitty and Minnie. This is the first time they met, right? And your mother says that you are a writer. I keep a diary. Okay, so there's a little spark right away. Do you intend to stay in New York? No, I've been offered a professorship in California. California, okay. You're not an immigrant. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going. He's like, I can still surf. <laughs> If you ever come to California, I would love to see you. Goodbye. Will she go to California? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you all looking at me like that? Uh, no reason, no reason. You make a terrific friend for me. Oh, Father, he wasn't here for you. <laughs> He it so plainly you love him. Doesn't she love him? It's a good instinct. <laughs> you need to go after him. Lori, prepare the horses. We can catch him before he gets on the train. I'm coming too. Yes. It's gonna go full Rob Cobb, chase after the love interest at the end. Prepare a carriage to help Joe March chase a man, but I like <laughs> California. That was fiction. He was practically begging for a reason. Yes, yes, that's so true. It doesn't matter. Can you go Come on, with rating. me? It's like a setup for the notebook. Father, are you publishing What this? happened to the little women? Tell me you have the rest of this book. It's a page turner. It's a page turner. 
<laughs> is this book semi -auto autobiographical? Like the author, I don't know who wrote Little Women, you know? Frankly, I don't see why she didn't marry the neighbor. You just don't get it. You know, this is like the studios giving notes to a director who knows how to make a movie. Just back off, count your money, let the artist work. Well, she says the whole book that she doesn't want to marry. Who cares? Girls want to see women married, not consistent. Oh my gosh. Right ending is the one that sells. You don't know what will sell. Just end it that way, will you? Fine. Wait, so is this happy ending with the wedding? Is that because she was forced to add it to the book? Is that what they're implying by cutting it that way? They're like, you, ch you ran through the rain to come find me. I don't want you to leave. I want you to stay. You do. I have nothing to give you, Joe. It doesn't matter. My hands are empty. They're not empty. This seems happy, but I mean, the way they cut it, right? This isn't really happening. Am I misinterpreting this? So I get 5% of the profit. 5% of the net profits. Uh, read the fine print. A payment up front. I'm the one taking the risk in printing. Don't give me that. Don't give me that. But, but, but it's my book. Shop it around. There can't be just one publisher. Characters for other stories. Mm, might that be worth something? Yes. Uh, only if it's a success. Which it will be. Which is why I wanted up front payment. No, it's too risky. I'll only pay for the copyright. Walk away. You keep your $500 and I'll keep the copyright. Good. Good call. Also, I want 10% of royalties. 5.5%. 5 .5%. 0 0.5? Don't give me that. 6% and that's it. Seven. Mr. Dashwood, if I'm going to sell my heroin into marriage for money, I might as well get some of it. 6.6%. 6.6? Don't give me a point percentage. Dutch. Oh, okay. She settled for that. I'd about the copyright right now. Now I've decided. I want to own my own book. Good call. Always own your own artistic work. Always. Okay, so that's kind of interesting that that romantic ending that we saw with Joe running after the professor in the rain didn't happen. I kind of like that. Oh, I had a kid. Look at that. Are those all the copies of her book that got published? It is, right? And that's what we saw on the title card, right? On the cover of the book. Pretty sure, if I'm remembering correctly. That must be so satisfying after all the years of struggle and work and writing and self-doubt, all of that. All right, so that is Little Women. Uh, that was an excellent movie. That was really, really good. I mean, like I said, I really didn't know much besides kind of the spoiler that, you know, I was pretty sure that Beth died thanks to Joey from Friends. But I don't know, I just, I really enjoyed how this movie, I don't even know how to describe it exactly. You know, it was such a, like a slice of life story following all the girls in this family. And just, you know, kind of like they're talking about, like the publisher is talking about when Joe is trying to make this book, you know, which is kind of based off themselves and their life. Which, like I said, I really want to know now, like the story of the author and if this story little women that she wrote is kind of telling the story of her life growing up you know i'd be very interested but that's what this movie feels like it really feels like just the story of this family a slice of life and seeing their times together their struggles the ups the downs you know just like like reality and it was very very engaging i mean the method of the storytelling and i'm curious if this is straight from the book or if this is greta gerwig you know but i really enjoyed kind of the jumping back and forth with the past and the present and we just slowly get a sense of the characters and who they are and their lives and where they come from and we see there's kind of a juxtaposition in some of the editing right i mean there's many many examples of it throughout this movie and it feels very purposeful and very meaningful you know for example like with beth the first time we get sick and we see joe coming down the stairs and then seeing Beth, you know, miraculously recovered with the mother. And then we see that same scene edited together of when Beth doesn't get better, right? And it's in the different blue lighting, which of course is colder and, you know, sadder. And then that time there isn't that kind of miraculous reveal. Sorry, I'm getting sad just thinking about Beth. But really just beautiful kind of storylines. And I love the pacing of this movie because there wasn't this sense of like urgency and like 
inciting incident and this needs to happen and now this needs to happen and we're in the third act so we need the low point then we need this you know it didn't feel like that it just felt like we're spending time with these girls with these women and there was really this sense of letting things breathe and develop naturally and just i just got to a certain point where i was just engrossed in the story and invested in all the characters and rooting for them and just following along you know i wasn't thinking and analyzing the movie in the sense of like okay and this plot point leads to this and we're pacing it out like that and I, that's not easy to do right i i think that takes a lot of work to make a story be that absorbing and natural and real and like i said i'm sure some of the credit for sure goes to greta gerwig now i kind of want to read the book too because i really want to know like if some of those pacing and storyline and timeline mix-ups are straight from the novel or if those were changed for the movie. Either way, I think it worked very, very well. And it was, it was just beautiful. It was beautiful. I, I think the, the heart and soul of the movie was the relationship of all the sisters together and the whole family, you know, and you could see it from all of them. Like you could see that the mom, you know, there are great little moments with her, even the father, Bob Odenkirk, it was great. I, I thought for sure he was going to kind of pass away in the war. I didn't, wasn't hopeful that he would return, but it was awesome that he did. But you could just see the goodness of all the girls in the family and how that came kind of from how great of people their parents were. And, you know, even though they're all good characters, they weren't perfect and they all had their struggles and they each had different dreams and different things they wanted. And I just, it felt so real, you know? I'm not going to go through all the characters, but just a couple things to touch on. I feel like there's a lot to break down in this movie. I'm not going to cover everything for sure, but just, I'll just go through some stuff that stood out to me. You know, I'm fresh having just watched this for the first time. Overall, I will just say, you know, I have watched Barbie as well, which I thought was a lot of fun. Personally, I enjoyed this movie much, much more. Like this, to me, solidifies my real respect for Greta Gerwig. You know, like Barbie was well directed, but this story to me and the way that it was executed and directed was really, really showcased a lot of talent, and I really, really enjoyed this movie. But like I said, I'm just going to kind of randomly, it's probably going to be a messy overview, I'm going to miss a lot of stuff, but just point out some stuff that I really, really enjoyed. I mean, Aunt March, played by Meryl Streep, really, really good performance. But what I really liked about her character is that even though she was kind of disapproving and judgmental, and you could definitely point out some negative qualities that she had. I really liked the nuance that her character was portrayed with, because even though she was kind of the person being like, give up on your dreams, marry well, you know, follow the money, I think she, because of the time that this movie takes place in, the reality for women and their freedom in this type of world, right, a lot of her advice was coming from a sincere place. Like, I think Yes, you could take it that she's being judgmental or saying give up on your dreams, but that's not how I took it at all. I look at it as someone who's older, who's been around the block a few times and sees the struggle that this family has to go with and the struggle of, you know, living poor and not having a lot of money and not having freedom. And she's imparting her advice in a very sincere way and being blunt about it, right? And even though I don't really agree with a lot of her conclusions ultimately, I 100% see where she's coming from and see that pragmatic side and that desire to kind of impart some real, some real life emphasis on real, you know, from her perspective, advice to these women. And so I just appreciate that nuance of the character. I feel like they easily could have played aunt, that aunt is like, oh, she's the one who says, don't follow your artistic passions, get married and, you know, secure a lively for your family but i'm like no that is a real thing like yes you want to follow your dreams but there is a, a, a harsh reality of like trying to survive as a woman especially back in those times right you know Lori, i thought was an excellent character i love how you know he, he really fit in with the family so organically and he like matched their playfulness their energy kind of their artistic inclination their restlessness with kind of like boring things and i also like how he wasn't this perfect character right it's not like Lori. Uh, you know he had his flaws he had his moments where he's you know he's kind of off doing his own thing we see him drinking and just off you know living a life you know after he had been rejected by joe right but i don't know i guess he, he felt like a very real kind of person who had this artistic honesty about him like even that scene where he was with meg and meg was out dancing like wearing like a different pink dress and his comment to her like you could take it as him just being like judgmental or raining on her parade but i don't take it that way at all i really think his comment being like what would joe say is that he thought that Meg wasn't kind of being true to herself and her family and what she, the values she actually believed in. And so that's why he kind of said those things. But that interaction, you know, felt real. And then I like afterwards how he kind of apologized 
to Meg, you know, for kind of being harsh and talking to her in that way. Like, I don't know, I just appreciate the sophistication in his character as well. You know, even like the scene where he's proposing to Joe and he's so deeply in love with her and wants more than anything for her to accept him. And of course she doesn't because she doesn't feel that way. You know, you could look at it that then eventually he just to recover from his heartbreak just decides to marry, but I don't think so. Like the way that it was performed, I think that, you know, he dealt with his heartbreak by kind of going off and womanizing and drinking and being irresponsible, but then he was kind of inspired to be a better man and then slowly grew to realize that he cared for her and loved her. And I think that was really sincere as well. You know, I really appreciate how he focused a lot on her as well, even though the story you know, the, Joe is the main character. We're kind of following all the girls in this family, but she takes the central role. But we still have enough time to see Beth and see her artistic aspirations and her self-doubt being like, I want to be great or nothing. You know, that's a feeling I feel like I can relate to, you know, in trying to do certain artistic endeavors and just the frustrations, the self-doubt that you can have being an artist, you know, and even her love with Lori, like she's infatuated with him right from the start. But then when he does, you know, kind of bring up the idea of like, hey, you know, marry me, she initially is like, no, I, I don't want to be the person who's settled for. And that's such an understandable kind of more complicated emotion as well. And I really appreciate the realism of that, right? And, and honestly, her whole dynamic with Lori, I thought was really good. You know, I like how when we first see them together, like she definitely likes him, but She's very upset at seeing him behave in a way when she knows he could do better, right? And like that just feels so real. Like the, you, you're going to be extra disappointed in someone that you deep down care about and know can be a better person, more so than someone who you're just friends with or you just know as like an acquaintance. And even like her outlook, you know, being different than Joe's of being like, okay, I do want to marry well and maybe I'll settle for something besides love with just an eligible suitor, right? That's also very understandable. Like I totally felt what Beth was feeling, so to speak, you know, where it's like, even though that's totally different than the path someone like Joe would take, I can understand why Beth would feel that way. I mean, ultimately I'm glad she didn't. She refused that, I forget that guy's name, that one guy from proposing and ended up with Lori, which was much better. But the fact that she was considering something like that just felt like a real struggle and something that it, it, it's a choice that I could get behind, right? Considering what Beth saw as her other alternatives in life. I love seeing uh, Meg and I believe John was her husband's name. You know, I like that they didn't sugarcoat things. Like obviously they had a great relationship, a great marriage, but there are struggles, you know, growing up when there is a shortage of money, that's just real. Like there's disappointments, there's fights, there's hardship, even if you love each other. And that's kind of the best case scenario. Like thankfully they were two good people who loved each other and were able to work hard, but it is a struggle. You know, that's a financial reality. And then of course, Joe. I thought Joe was just such a great, fascinating character. Like that opening scene really said a lot right there. And then of course tied everything together at the end when she finally does get her book published. But it is just so satisfying to conclude that way when we see the whole movie. Like Joe not only struggling with her writing, but struggling like looking after the different family members, pushing through things. You know, she's so strong-willed and brave and had such ambition in her life. You know, it's like inspiring, at least for me, to see a character like that and to see a character face adversity. And like the scene where she and Beth uh, were on the beach, you know, and you just see Joe like with all her will, you know, being like, I'm going to save you, you know. And of course you can't, you know, no one can um, stop that, not even Beth. I, I did love, I mean, not even Joe. Uh, I did love the line that Joe said where the uh, his, Beth was like, oh, it's God's will. And Joe was like, oh, he hasn't met my will yet. You know, that was such a perfect line for her to say, you know, that the perfectly encapsulates like her sense of humor and her strength at the same time. That's another thing too. Like all the characters had such a great like energy and sense of humor. I love how they teased each other. And even when they had fights and things like that, they really had a fun spirit about it. But yeah, just a really beautiful, touching story that was so well executed. And like I said, there was just so much nuance and complexity to the character. I also really like the touch um, and I wonder if this is a choice by Greta Gerwig. I'm very curious about this, actually. I almost feel like it might be a choice by Greta Gerwig with uh, Joe ending up with the professor guy, right? You know, and how we see that that was basically forced into the story by the publisher because they wanted like a feel-good ending, which 
I actually can see, I mean, look, at the end of the day, I feel like that's actually true even to this day. Like most people, when they go see a movie, if it's not a happy ending, you know, where the two people who love each other end up together, there's a few movies that come to mind actually where that doesn't happen and people do not like those movies. But people like crowd pleasers. People like happy endings. That's just a reality. Even nowadays, even when you go see a movie, I mean, even me to a certain extent, right? I, I, I feel like I'm more inclined towards, you know, movies that end badly. Like, I have those have a special place in my heart. I like heartbreaking endings too. But a lot of people like a crowd pleaser. And I there's movies that I think are excellent, excellent movies that I'll look at the reviews for that movie. And I'm so certain the reason there's like a bunch of one star reviews is because they end in an extremely like unsatisfying way for as like a crowd pleaser. In that sense, they're unsatisfying and people just hate it. You know what I mean? So I can definitely see why a publisher is like, no, she has to get married at the end. But I actually really like how this movie, they show that that's not the reality because for a couple of reasons. First of all, the professor, he seemed like a nice dude and all that, but for, he was no Laurie, okay? Like Laurie was a character. I was like, if, any, if Joe's going to end up with anyone, I think it should have been him. You know, they, even if they had fought the whole time, maybe that would have never worked out. But I just feel like he was a character that I felt was worthy of Joe, if that makes sense. The professor, maybe we just didn't spend enough time with him, but it did feel rushed and like her rushing it through the rain just didn't seem like Joe. So I kind of like how it was addressed that that didn't actually happen, even though that obviously is sadder for Joe that she didn't find love in that way. But it just seems much truer to her character. And also, like I said, you know, if we were going to have that romantic feel-good ending for Joe, I would have much preferred it to be with Lori. I mean, but not just the fact that it's Timothy Chalamet, which I'm sure many people watching feel that way just based off the casting. But more importantly, like, I don't know, like you could see the interaction with Joe and Lori, and I'm still not 100% certain whether Joe loved Lori or not. I don't think she did. But they did have this special connection, this special way of communicating that I think was very unique. Unlike, I just never saw scenes that demonstrated that with the professor guy. Oh, one more thing too. Uh, I also think the title is so appropriate as Little Women because it says so much about the story. Like the story isn't some grand, crazy story. It's about domestic life and ups and downs and just this small family and we're following them through some of their through different chapters, different significant chapters of their life experience, right? So it's kind of perfect. But then at the same time, like they address with some of the dialogue of the movie, there's something super important about these little moments in life and these little figures and people doing good things for other people, even though it's not something that would make headlines in the traditional sense. So I feel like it's both acknowledging that this is like the little beautiful moments of these, you know, just quote unquote normal people. But at the same time, by kind of titling the book that, you're kind of emphasizing the absolute beauty and importance of people and characters and figures like that as well. At least that's how I interpret it. But yeah, really, really excellent movie. I really, really enjoyed that. Very just... A, a great, nuanced, complicated, well-executed movie with incredible acting, really great directing, great, great characters, just really engaging. Absolutely loved it. Really have no critiques. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. As always, the full unedited reaction is up on Patreon if you care to support the channel and watch along with me. Thank you so, so much for watching. And as always, remember, be active, be mindful, and be a hero.